G'day, James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine, and today I'm just going to take a couple of quick minutes to, to show you over this CJ483 Territory center console. Now, you don't see too many in the center console configuration, but is, that is something that we get off from the factory. Now, the center console we've chosen is the console that comes out of the velocity sports range of CJ boats. Now, there's a reason we've chosen that console, is firstly, it's a really good height for, for standing position, but not too high when you're, when you're in a seated position. It's got a side mount 703 mounting provision. It's got nice rail around the top, but it's also got a passenger rail here for when I'm the passenger. Now, this console is also of a decent width to fit large electronics. As you see, we've got a, a nine inch Humminbird uh, fit on top of the dash here. We've also got six YC Yamaha gauge. Plenty of room here to fit a uh, Fusion Stereo or a GME uh, VHF radio. Um, you'll see here that the steering uh, option on the centre consoles we elect for is hydraulic steering and that just gives nice feel uh, but also doesn't have any resistance in, in a push-pull cable. Um, you'll see here that there's plenty of room uh, around the console on both sides. So geez, there's a good, I don't know, let's say a good half metre either side of the console on the 483 model. It still continues on with the same, same front deck. Plenty of room in here to, to put an esky of around the 40 litre size, if you like. But you've also got all your traditional underfloor storage hatches that the Territory offer. That also includes, uh, as you know, the electric motor battery storage, but also the anchor well storage, which drains all dirt and mud to the external part of the boat, not internal. As I said, it's a, a, a nice console, plenty of room around each side. Um, the, this customer has elected to have two pedestal seats. There is three sockets along, along the back here uh, in the event that you know, you're know you a father and you've got two young kids, a father, a wife, a girlfriend, and a child. But at the same time, these seats can be removed from the boat and we can have an open, free, free room fishing uh, if we're doing some bottom fishing offshore in the traditional center console layout. As you see, the Territory's fitted standard with electric motor pad, uh, and this boat's been fitted with the Minn Kota electric motor. In regards to the outboard, the 483 has a maximum horsepower of 75, and that's what's been fitted in this instance. And that's 75 horsepower is a big displacement, 1.8 litre engine, uh, more than enough power for this boat. We typically see this boat powered by the uh, 70 horsepower from the stroke, which is a one litre capacity. So this outboard here, with a load that's intended for this, uh, this owner, will be more than enough in all, all situations. Uh, in regards to the trailer, again, we fit all of our CJ boats uh, on the Redco trailers, which are again, Australian-made trailer. Uh, and you'll see here uh, that this particular model uh, is the RE1513 QMO, uh, and it travels nicely. Spare wheel fit on the front, uh, and it's good for your sealed road applications. Now for your quote on the uh, uh, CJ Territory for yourself, please get on to my staff. Uh, you can contact us at info at stonescornermarine.com.au or you can check out more about our CJ packages on our website www.stonescornermarine.com.au Thanks for watching the video.